This video demonstration was created as part of our Shift Left series and provides a quick look at some of the capabilities of EG Enterprise from an ITSM and DevOps perspective. Both ITSM and DevOps are being used to drive IT transformation. And visibility and transparency are critical to these kinds of change efforts. With end user experience becoming the basis for competition, service management for the digital age requires all stakeholders to be on the same page more than ever. While DevOps looks to shift monitoring and testing left and achieve a culture of observability rather than finger pointing, IT service management continues to look for ways to improve event management, which triggers many IT service management processes. Most enterprises don't have the time or expertise to unify what is often a fragmented monitoring portfolio. A critical element of success is the ability to monitor digital services end to end. This demonstration will give you a quick look at a converged application and infrastructure performance monitoring solution. Let's start by taking a quick look at end user experience monitoring. Here's an example of a real user monitoring dashboard. It shows key performance indicators that relate to user experience associated with three different websites. These are active dashboards, which means all I need to do is click on a metric that's been color coded by the embedded analytics in the monitor if I want to see more details about what's going on. We immediately see a list of user transactions and can click on the detailed diagnosis icon to see more. Now we see a visualization of the user's transaction. It graphically displays the time taken on the browser, the network connection, the back end, and the time to download content. This lets us quickly triage the issue. In this case, we can see that 85% of page load time is associated with the back end. Now let's take a look at how another user might analyze critical digital business transactions. In the same way we visualize end user experience, we can trace every step of Java and .NET transactions end to end, visualizing them across all tiers of the application architecture using a tag and follow approach. And this allows application owners or other authorized monitor users to easily identify transactions that are slow, have stalled, or are experiencing errors. We can also get response time splits for distributed applications, even if they combine both Java and .NET. Now, of course, if there are issues with user experience or critical transactions, the issue will be somewhere in the application or its underpinning infrastructure. So let's take a look at applications first. By clicking an icon in the transaction flow map, the embedded analytics will automatically direct us to the appropriate details based on the specific performance issue that's happening. For example, we can get a summary showing the breakup of processing time and transaction details, an execution analysis pinpointing a specific call causing performance issues. We can quickly identify hotspots, go directly to a query that's causing the performance issue, go directly to a line of code and identify errors, or capture exit calls in their response times from queries, JMS, or third-party HTTP or web service calls. All these capabilities are enabled by code level correlation embedded in the monitor. Now, of course, a performance issue can be caused by something in the underlying infrastructure as well. So let's take a look at that. By discovering the end-to-end -end service topology of every segment of a digital business service, we can correlate across tiers and provide an easy visualization of which tier is the cause of your performance issue. And this lets you know where the issue is, even if it's in a virtualized infrastructure or a public cloud. Each component of the topology has a familiar layer model that's used to organize tests and measurements. The analytics will automatically color code the measurement that's causing your performance issue. Now this end-to-end -end and top-to-bottom correlation across the full stack of every component provides you with embedded domain expertise right out of the box. The analytics also track all configuration changes as they happen and compares them over time, 
correlating performance with these changes and letting people know that performance issues may be the result of a change. Knowledge management is also critical to achieving a culture of transparency. The monitor enables the creation of a site-specific knowledge base that lets you track and share experiences. This not only allows more rapid problem diagnosis, it also accelerates learning across the organization. And like most monitoring products, out-of-the-box reports can be saved, emailed, or scheduled, and dashboards can be created and personalized for specific roles across the enterprise. And of course, the embedded analytics make sure that everyone is situationally aware and knows in real time what's happening from a performance perspective. And finally, monitoring is a broad-based activity. The ability to extend the monitor's capabilities to new applications and services, as well as its ability to integrate with other tools, are important considerations from an ITSM and DevOps perspective. The architecture is pretty simple. There's two major components, the EG Manager and Backend Database and the EG Universal Agent. The monitor has been 100% web-based since day one. It's multi-tenant and all communications is via secure HTTPS from the agent to the manager. There's no ports uh, to open or firewall issues to wrestle with. While EG Enterprise comes with built-in domain expertise, administrators and or developers can add new monitoring capabilities and build new models for custom applications, which can then be monitored in the same way as other applications and devices. New tests can be added easily and in different ways, from perfmon and scripting to APIs and command line interfaces. These abilities, along with personalized views and multi-tenancy, allow the monitor to be effectively tailored to different requirements and different environments across the service lifecycle. A number of integrations are available. These could be as simple as email or an API or a command line interface based on your requirements. For example, a common integration is a bi-directional interface with incident management using your ITSM tool or integration with DevOps tool chains, including chat and orchestration tools to facilitate automated provisioning. Customers can also easily scale the solution using a super manager, which provides a unified monitoring dashboard that presents a consolidated view across multiple EG managers. This was just a quick tour of EG Enterprise and suggests just a few of the ways customers are using converged application and infrastructure performance monitoring to accelerate their IT transformation efforts with ITSM and DevOps. The monitors reach across every layer and every tier depth across dynamic and distributed infrastructures, and automated problem diagnosis enable a level of organizational transparency that's ideal for these kinds of transformative change efforts. For a full briefing, contact EG Innovations to learn more.